Hello, Jennifer Tochi here. And I got tagged by um Hobbs Horror. Um on the tag going around that's nineteen top five movies of nineteen eighty. Horror movies of nineteen eighty. And I immediately thought of three that I know of and that I loved. So I said, Google, help me, help me, Google, <laughs> you know, and <sighs> Google helped me some because I didn't know the exact thing, the exact dates of everything, but, um, Um, it also, it also said, also had a movie on it that I had never seen, but yet it, it, it called to me, it said, it said Motel Hell, 1980, and I said, ooh, because I have Mountaintop Massacre, one of the craziest, cheesiest horror movies I have. Well, not, well, not one of the cheesiest, but it is a cheesy, crazy horror film. So I said, ooh, I need to check out Motel Hell 1980. And I don't have it in my physical media. Bad girl, yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to find it. Yeah. Um... And so I go, Tubi, Tubi, help me, Tubi, help me. Because thanks to um, the Final Girls Club that I am in, the Final Girls of Horror, where we have our live streams and review a movie every Friday, I have learned of this, this thing called Tubi, where you can watch movies. And I said, huh, maybe they have it on there. And up it pops. Motel Hell 1980. And I said, huh, maybe I'll give it a watch. I said, I don't know. I don't know if it'll stand up to Mountaintop Massacre, but we'll see. Yes. Um... And so I started watching it, and I see the names Rory Calhoun, and I said, "Ooh, I know him from a lot of spaghetti westerns. He was the either the drunk guy or the, and then you go back to the fifties, and he was the the kind of he was the oh, cutesy bootsy guy that would sweep the girls off their feet." Yes, I watch 50s movies. I watch 40s movies. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm a watcher of movies. But my favorites are still 80s, I will say. Yes. And then up pops this name called Nancy Parsons. And I said, Dan, I know that, I know that name. I know that girl. What, 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 what? And so it's driving me nuts. Nancy Parsons, Nancy Parsons. And I said, but I'm not going to look to see who she is. I'm not going to look on my Google. I'm not going to look up the movie. I'm going to wait to see if I can find out who she is. Yes. And then she, up she pops on the screen. And I go, Beulah Ball Breaker. Oh my God. Beulah, I mean, Beulah Ball Breaker from... From Porky's 1, 2, and 3. Oh my god, that's Nancy Parsons. <laughs> I, I like her character. I can't help it. Um, yes. Um, 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 yes. And I love that she plays a main character in this movie. She plays Ida, the older sister in... The younger sister of Vincent, played by Rory Calhoun. And, my goodness. They, they. 
this movie, this movie was good. I loved it. Oh my god. I, I, and, um, Wolfman Jack was in it. And, oh my goodness. This just, I thought, oh, this is, this will be in my tag from, from, from Mob's Horror, but I have to do a review of it on my own because I like, I like, I like this movie so much. Sorry, <laughs> I'm going on a tangent here. Okay, yes, um, Vincent plays the owner of Motel Hell, and he also makes meat. Mm. And you learn on the first night that he, um, that he also sets traps for people on the highway near his motel. And he brings them, so they'll get in wrecks and brings them home. And later on, you found out, you find out why. And I'll tell you what, I love their garden. <laughs> and how Ida, I just, I will forever call her B. Rebaldo Garcia. <laughs> and how Ida takes special care of that garden, yes. And you know, to have Wolfman Jack in this movie is great. To see him on the TV, and to hear his voice, and to hear him preaching, yes, and, um, one night, he, Vincent sets, sets a trap, and gets a, a motorcycle in an accident, and the guy dies, but the girl in the sidecar lives, and he brings her inside, of the house and calls her flower yes the flower um yes um that that we need some help around here and uh yes and she's with an older the motorcyclist was an older guy so Maybe she'll fall in love with Vincent. Hmm. You never know. <laughs> and I also know, um, recognize somebody else from this movie. They had a, um, a van full of pot smoking, um, um, <laughs> why am I forgetting? A, a band, a band of sitting in their smoky pot and one of them I said oh, where everybody knows your name yes cheers 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 yeah yeah and he was the mailman Cliff 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 yes he was Cliff and I recognized him and I go, oh my god, he was so young. <laughs> I will go on and on like this forever. <laughs> Sorry, I just finished watching the movie. And I'm excited about it. And I will go to the end, ends of the earth. Yes. Um. But that stupid IMDB D -B 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 thing only gave it a 6 out of 10. If I ever meet these IMDb people, we're going to have to have a talk, man. Because, you people, these people, they, I, I swear, when it comes to my cheesy 80s movies, they, they always get things wrong. It's like, I, I, uh, sorry. I, I ate a little too much sugary beef jerky today. <laughs> and I've been up post 
yeah, so, <laughs> excuse me, I, I, but I like this movie, and what, what am I going to say, I'm, I love this movie, and I will do my take, I promise, and if Hobbs watches this, I promise I will do my take, um, and other people had made this had had made their list motel hell i think um yeah and so thank you for mentioning this movie and so i remembered that yes thank you <laughs> goodbye i'll shut up now <laughs>